All right, so let's talk about the main topic of this video here. As you guys know, I recently went to uh, the 511 store in Virginia Beach at Lomans Plaza, and I picked up this flashlight here, the S and R for search and rescue A2, and it's normally $59.99. I got it for 15 bucks. This is the second one here that I that I purchased, and uh, haven't opened that one up yet, but this is the one uh, that you guys saw me open up on that last video. 237 lumens. It's a great flashlight. It's nice and durable. Um, and I had lost my my um, 511 Tactical ATAC um, R1 flashlight that I've had uh, for about seven years. Just about as long as I've had my 511 Tactical um, Rush 24 uh, backpack. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Which has lasted me forever. And, and actually my Rush 12 is the main backpack that I use when I'm doing Uber and Lyft, uh, just keeping stuff in there, and it's the main backpack that I normally have with me when I'm doing tour bus work. Um, so I, that backpack is, if it's not right on my person, is usually, usually nearby um, for my everyday carry, get stuff done bag. Um, and uh, but anyway, but this flashlight's a great flashlight. I'll leave a link to in the description about this one here. Um, but it's only 237 lumens. I, again. It's not bad. Um, I know it's going to be a good durable flashlight because 511 doesn't make crap. Uh, most of my experience with this stuff has been great. But being the guy that I am, I went up and I picked up this flashlight here. Um, it's got 1,031 lumens, four modes, one hour, 37 minutes on high run time, one meter drop, uh, and shoots a beam out 235 uh, meters now it's dual power capable it comes with CR one two three batteries and that's another reason I got this because I had a bunch of CR one two threes at the house that I had gotten um, and so uh, that's nice but I can also buy like an additional pack uh, to make it uh, wireless there's like a little diagram on the back there talking about that there that you can get um, if you want to do that I might do that uh, in the future but this is going to actually be my main flashlight to replace my C to replace my um, 511 Tactical ATAC, uh, what's it, A2 flashlight I had, I think it was, or whatever it was I had, um, for like past seven years. This and these will be like my backup uh, flashlights. And uh, so, yeah, 1,031 lumens as opposed to uh, what 237 lumens. Uh, both of these are Cree bulbs, but uh, I'm going to uh, crack this open. Uh, during this video, uh, this morning, tonight, this morning, it's actually, uh, it's almost, it's almost 0115 in the morning and let you guys know what I think, but uh, I think this will be my, my next main flashlight and hopefully it'll last me just as long, uh, as the other flashlight that I told you guys, uh, cause sometimes I'm an idiot, I lost that flashlight and I was kicking myself in the head for about a week not having my damn flashlight, it sucked. So, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's crack this open real quick and uh, and check it out. Well, scissors from home. I've got a multi-tool, but in an emergency it would work, but it makes things easier. So we've got the uh, unit here. We've got the uh, instructions for the response XR1 here. And I applaud uh, 511 for doing this because uh, so many flashlight manufacturers, they don't do this. So I'm grateful that for the um, other flashlight I just reviewed that they started including batteries get this battery out of here there we go so uh, CR123 alphas and uh, there's the uh, switch right there for controlling it there's a little pin clip which is removable there so yep pretty cool a little warning there saying caution hot surface no you can't see it but it says caution 
And of course, so let's unscrew the the cap. So there's a removable sleeve inside. Of course, there's a cap. Slide the CR123s inside. Screw it up. So there we go. Let's turn it on. Woo! That's bright. So you guys saw some of the modes there. Yeah, this is my main flashlight now, for sure. Actually, the guy at 511, I was talking to him. I was going to get another 511 light, but he was like, dude, get this one. And uh, yeah, so far, so good. So yeah, I dig it. Make sure guys, when you're uh, making videos like mine or going about your daily life, clean up after yourself. Don't be a slob. All right, and we are online. Keegan's right around the corner. I literally stopped filming, literally started stopped filming and it, Got a ping. See, guys, told you right around 0200, be out here at Town Center. All right, so leaving Motel 6, for those of you in Virginia Beach that know where Motel 6 is, I uh, picked up uh, at Keegan's. At Keegan's. Keegan's, not Murphy's. I keep missing, for some whatever reason, getting that confused. But Keegan's at Town Center. Um, and guess where I'm going back to? Keegan's. So, what am I telling you, ride share drivers? 2 a.m. Be perched outside of Keegan's at Town Center, even on an oddball Thursday night, and you will probably get pings from uh, from Keegan's. Um, and before I got done with, with that person, uh, whose name, well, I'll just say his name was a character on SpongeBob. Um, and not the squirrel, and of course not SpongeBob, so you can kind of narrow it down. But uh, he was drunk and ate skunks, but he was cool. Uh, and uh, before I got done uh, dropping them off moments ago as I head toward Princess Anne Road here off of uh, Lower Dunmore Drive here in Virginia Beach, I got this ping here. So that's, again, that's one of the advantages of driving at night. I know this video is uh, about the the uh, flashlight, but is but it's also a rideshare channel. So sharing my adventures. It's uh, 17th Street and Pacific. I got two. British Navy dudes in there. You guys, I'm a veteran, so I can't just get on the base like I used to. So I'm dropping them off uh, Gilbert Street, and they're gonna have to walk into the gate there off of Hampton Boulevard. So they're in there right now, getting some food, and hopefully in a couple minutes, and then we can get on our way and uh, go on with the rest of my night. Dropping off like I told you guys, because I can't get on my base like I used to, so I'm a veteran. So main gate right there, those two dudes right there from the British Navy. Uh, the one short, small dude, he's drunker than eight skunks, but they were cool. They uh tipped me uh some cash and uh they're going to the gate. And I advise them sometimes the cabbies will sit on the other side of the gate there on Maryland Avenue and um they will you know they can get a cab the rest of the way uh to to where the ships are at the piers. But that's the main gate and naval base there, and uh so they dropped off good. So Rideshare drivers, remember, most of the time you can't get on base. Have I gotten on base? Yes. But usually, usually you get pulled over for about 20 minutes and detained for about 20 minutes while they make sure you're legit. And then they keep your, they hold on to your driver's license and then they turn you around and then they give it back to you on, when you're coming out. So I try not, to, I try to uh, drop them off uh, near the gates best I can. A uh, little little trip tip there. So let's get on to uh, the light stuff. You can see. So that's the uh, search and rescue light uh, that I already reviewed on my channel before. 
about 200 and something lumens not bad uh, it's a good good light it doesn't have strobe nothing like that not bad at all but that kind of gives you guys an idea of what you're working with there's my stinky foot and we'll shine it across to the other side of Chicks Beach can't really it won't really get that far so let's take out the uh, response the new light I got which will be my main light Boom. check that joker out uh, I think you can see quite a difference there quite a difference between the two yeah quite a difference so the other one real quick 270 something lumens and I think about a thousand thirty one lumens right there quite a difference back down at 270 with the other flashlight I already reviewed and the one I'm currently reviewing is gonna overpower this 270 something check it out boom Quite a bit more power. We like power. So how do I look with the less lumen flashlight? Or actually how does that small crab look? You guys can see him. That's how he looks with the less lumens. Crazy bright lumens. Less lumens. Crazy bright lumens and that's a crab right there a little small one he might move there he goes right in his hole so you guys can see there's quite a difference between the two lumen counts the lesser and uh, I'm gonna shine that down the beat some. I mean, it works. Like if you need light, this the lesser one that I already reviewed, the uh, Search and Rescue works. About 237 or so lumens. But this one here is over a thousand. This new one here, a thousand. Like a thousand thirty-one, something like that. Boom. Not to mention this one here has a lower setting. Another lower setting there. And then of course, strobe which the other one doesn't have strobe at all or any other settings so that's pretty cool so we'll use the lesser one real quick so you guys can see too it's um hopefully you can see this one here has the somewhat serrated edges kind of they're more they're kind of blunt but you it's a it's a true tactical flashlight you can like if you needed to jab somebody in the eyeball with it uh, to protect yourself. Whereas the other one doesn't quite have that feature. I guess you could use it for that if you needed to, but it doesn't have those serrated, um, I guess, or semi-serrated uh, edge to it. Well, the search and rescue that I already reviewed a few days ago is a good light if you need something. Uh, obviously it doesn't have strobe. It's about 237 lumens, that's it. But it does work um, and I'm sure it'll be uh, around for a while because uh, I've had uh, other flashlights in 511 and they hold up. But the response here is smaller using CR132s as opposed to double A's. Plus you can put a rechargeable, if you want to upgrade to the recharge kit, you can put that in here as well. Um, it has right here where the button is, a little protector there is to keep it from uh, being turned on. Uh, for that short period of time I had it on, it does get a little bit warm, but not like uncomfortably warm. This one here puts out a little bit of heat, but not as much as this one here. Um, the, of course, this one here that I already reviewed, there's no serrated edges. Not really. I mean, it's kind of little itty bitty ones there really, but mm, I don't know. But there's more pro pronounced ones there uh, that could be used in a tactical situation uh, right there. Um, and of course, there's the probably can't see it there's a the hot surface warning that's right there on the light on the response uh, XR1 
Um, of course, this one has a thousand something lumens. And of course, it has the other setting. So, whereas this one only has just that one setting. So, so this is gonna be my main light for a while, unless I lose this one too, like an idiot. Uh, but hopefully, I'll hold on to this one uh, much longer than the um, ATAC R1 Pro that I've had for like seven years that I lost, which led to me getting this one, which is okay, but. This one here, of course, is a little bit smaller, but much brighter and much more tactical uh, than the search and rescue model here. at the uh, Virginia Beach Oceanfront. Earlier I was at Chesapeake Beach a few miles from here. And uh, we're looking out at the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, the waves have of course calmed down because the storm is, well, gone. At least as far as this area is concerned. But still plenty of waves. Not as big, obviously. There's the uh, resort strip. And here's Uber 757 trying not to blind myself with this over a thousand lumen light that I have in my hand. So, before the sun rises, let's take this light and put it in the water so you guys can see that it can go in the water like the other light did. Out a little bit further. So, as you can see, no problem at all. She's water resistant. This dunked her pretty good in the Atlantic Ocean. And, uh, of course, the camera was underwater with it, and uh, no problem. And obviously, salt water is going to be a little bit more harsh on this than, say, fresh water. So, not bad. I'm trying to see how bad my lens had a water run. Not too bad. So it's definitely uh, something that you want to get if you're looking for a uh, good tactical flashlight. It's tough, durable, water resistant, and should last you a long time.
thank you guys so much for watching my YouTube channel. I appreciate all the thumbs up, all the likes. From the historic Cavalier Hotel in Virginia Beach, Virginia, Uber 757, where all commercial drivers, Uber drivers, and Lyft drivers go to heaven. Please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. And as always, drive safely and with skill.